Hi guys, uh, welcome to the channel uh, with a new informative video of a very beautiful cat breed uh, that is so called Abyssinian cat breed and uh, it is uh, as unique as its name. So, in this video, I will tell you about their appearance, their temperament, their living needs, their care, and how we can take care of their health issues handled. So, let's start the video. Uh, Abyssinian Abyssinian uh, cat breed is uh, about 8 to 10 inches uh, high and their weight is about 8 to 12 pounds and uh, their lifespan goes from 9 to 13 years. Uh, this is an ancient uh, enigmatic athletics and the word uh, you are looking for is Abyssinian currently one of the most popular cat breed in the world. The Abyssinian or Abbey for short is also one of the oldest with origin. Uh, shrouded in mystery. Uh, as far as their appearance is concerned, though, uh, Abyssinian coat is her most striking feature with its uh, non complex ticking, uh, uh, which is a genetic variant of the Chevy pattern. Her dense clothes lying first start lighted color at the body, then alternates between bands of lighter and darker shades uh, out to the tip uh, of her tail. Their temperament is also very good, so they are incredibly smart and curious. Uh, as the DMU at Florida Veterinary Behavior Services uh, has told this, so this makes them natural explorers. And uh, you can expect to find your abbeys every corner of your home on every possible service, regardless of the accessibility. They are very amusing, but uh, also need a lot of amusement. Uh, they are very athletic and love to climb, jump, run, leap and explore. Uh, they can be challenging cats uh, for pet parents who are seeking a mellow, snuggly and laid back cat or who are out of the home of long periods of time. Uh, the living needs are also important to know so this cat who loves to get around and explore and she is absolutely going to try and find her way up to uh, high shelves and vantage points, multi-level cat trees, cat shells or stretching posts are greatly appreciated as uh, they will give your Abyssinian ample opportunity to climb. Uh, the care is also important so these type of cats don't tend to be a huge shedders outside of their regular shedding season so daily grooming should be relatively straightforward. Weekly brushing is all there probably and uh, uh, like soul cats, uh, and Abyssinian also need access to fresh water and food, a clean little box, and her claws kept neatly trimmed. Uh, there are also some health issues found in this type of cat breed. So, progressive retinal atrophy, this refers to a group of genetic disorders uh, leading to reduce or lost vision and uh, patellar relaxation. A kneecap dislocation uh, that can range from mild to severe lameness. Renan amplo amplodysis, a genetic disorder, is uh, in which deposits of a protein called amyloid build up in on organs, particularly in the kidneys. Osteoarthritis is also a disease that is found in this type of uh, cats, a painful joint condition that's common in all cats, especially as they age. Kidney diseases all are also fine in this type of cat. So you should know about the diseases that are mostly common in this type of cat breeds. I hope uh, this video is uh, uh, informative and uh, helpful to you for keeping an Abyssinian cat. Uh, please subscribe my channel and like the video. Uh, bye for this time. Inshallah we will meet soon. Goodbye. Have a nice day.